There's a handful of hot topics worth a quick bit of chat tonight. Read us edge on the clock time. And the late Joe Paterno will be restored as the winningest coach in major college football history. Thanks to a deal from the NCAA, it gives back Penn State's 112 football victories that were lost during this uh, Jerry Sandusky child molestation scandal. Does that make you happy? I'm a Penn State grad. Um, I've been, con I've felt personally con conflicted about this news all day long. Um, I'm leaning more toward the idea that I think we are again putting football over children who were raped. We are again focusing on the fact that a football legacy is perhaps tarnished when there are children who were raped over many years, and this is what we're talking about again. Well, there are those who would argue that because this wasn't... <laughs> no, nope, the buzzer went. You can't talk about it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear. I, I lost track of that thought. Okay, Reed. I, I know, really quickly, I know there are very opposing viewpoints. My husband is a huge Penn State fan, and he, he supports Joe Paterno. He thinks this was the right thing to do. I tend to disagree with that. Well, they're having a tough time figuring out what to do with the bodies of the Shirley Hebdo terrorists. Nobody wants them in their cemeteries, and following Muslim tradition. Muslim rather traditions would be very tough. Would you want them in your cemetery? Um, well, for me, I'm going to be cremated, so it's not an issue. But I do. But I, I understand what the uh, people who don't want them in the cemetery because they uh, feel that there will be some people that will come deface mm -hmm. the, their headstones or we'll whatever. Become a place of hate. Yeah. And, and anger. And it's supposed to be a place of peace and resolution. Right. So. And, and under French law, the families of the terrorists who were killed can request that they be buried locally. Um, and the mayor of, of the town where this happened is saying, no, 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 this will not happen here. Well, none of the families have made a claim either, so. Yes, correct. One of the doctors who came home from Liberia with Ebola says he is headed back there. Dr. Rick Sacra says there's still tremendous need for Ebola care in that country, which is nice, but would you go back? No! No. I commend dude for, you know, being that. I'm just not that nice. I'm not that al altruistic. I don't have that kind of, I'm just like, I was in a situation where I could have, you know, I put myself in danger. I'm good. But I, I think that a lot of people feel like that. And I think that's why many people have the respect that they do for these people because they go do work that nobody wants to do. Yeah. And, and I mean, kudos to him if, if he wants to go back. And, and obviously there is work to be done. I mean, Ebola is something that we in America have stopped talking about, but it continues to ravage West Africa. Kudos to him. Well, this week we learned that a glitter bomb is what you call it when you send hard to clean up glitter in an envelope to somebody. But now someone has actually been arrested for a glitter bombing. Now, of course, the woman who did it also trashed the boss's office, destroyed computers and other equipment. How much of a joy would she be to work with? <laughs> this is the problem. She oh, used... Look at how happy she is. <laughs> she used her happy. swipe card to get into the office, which leaves a trace. If you're going to do something... <laughs> Don't leave a trace. And there's evidence some guy was there helping us, but she smashed computers. And all. Come on, man. Oh. Do we know what prompted this? She was fired, or she was left her job a couple of days before that, but they won't say why she They won't she say left. what actually. Right. What actually went down? So obviously there wasn't a lot of love lost. Right, and not that there's really an excuse for that. I'm just curious to know what happened. Uh, there's time for one quick celebrity edgity confirmation from the fish's mouth. Sharknado 3 is in the works. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Tara Reid confirmed it through a tweet today. Ian Ziering is also on board. This time the sharks will rain on Washington, D.C. Um, I've not seen Sharknado 1. I've not seen Sharknado 2. And I don't plan on seeing Sharknado 3. You haven't seen either of those? You haven't seen Star Wars? You I, are comparing Sharknado <laughs> to Star Wars? I haven't seen either one either. I, I <laughs> tried to sit down for Sharknado 2 because so many people Loved wanted it. to be in it and made cameos, you know? It's like some of these random names. You're like, they actually wanted to be in it, but they just wanted to be a part of the cultural phenomenon. But, yeah, I'm just saying, no, it's not sexy. Sharknado 3. Mm. Coming up, it's a crime spree of historic proportions. A couple of modern-day kids acting out Bonnie and Clyde, and they've been spotted in the Carolinas. Details on what police say they've done and what may be next. That's really crazy. And all that tweeting and posting and pinning and texting might actually be good for your nerves. The one key element in the equation, later on the edge.